The death toll in Morocco continues to climb after that rare quake that rocked the country. Thanks for joining us for the CBS 13 News at 10. I'm Tony Lopez. And I'm Marley Ginter. Right now is the crucial time known as the golden period, the best window for finding people who may still be alive beneath the rubble. More than 2,800 people are dead. Thousands more are hurt. The 6.8 magnitude disaster hit close to home for some here in our area. With that, we turn to CBS 13's Ashley Sharp. She's live with their stories. Ashley. Hey guys, yeah, tonight we've been monitoring the latest video of that destruction coming into our newsroom, knowing that for some here in our region, it's so much more than just pictures. It's real life and real loss. An Elk Grove family with heavy hearts, mourning five family members lost to the earthquake in Morocco. You have to live another day, so, but it, it, it's, it's not easy. Lysa and La Hussein visit the country every year with family in the hard hit High Atlas Mountains. You know, there are some villages nearby that di disappeared. Their surviving family members are on the ground getting resources to mountain villages. They're hard to get to, so they don't get the attention. The couple raising more than $7,000 online to get resources right to those communities. They're just really incredibly generous people, and so. Uh, you know, they just deserve some generosity when they're in need. Boots on the ground tackling today's crisis and what could lie ahead. I mean, this is a six point eight magnitude. Aftershock could be bigger than the first one, by the way, could cause more damages too. Dr. Kit Miyamoto runs an international company based in West Sacramento. Their teams of expert structural engineers dispatched to disaster. Now with a mission in Morocco. How to repair back? better so they can go back to houses quickly. So that's going to be our main focus of our mission. The fear for so many Moroccans is that the country's rich culture will be lost in the rubble. Anything that would help them rebuild their communities, um, it's, it's going to be a great thing. The owners of Casablanca Moroccan restaurant in Sacramento even learned today of more close friends adding to the growing death toll. They're mobilizing now in their home away from home to help. Sacramento already is giving. Knowing the Moroccan spirit won't be wiped off the map. We know that Cal OES today remains on standby to head to Morocco. They have not yet gotten any order from the State Department to do so, but are ready and waiting for that call. Yeah, it's wonderful to see so many people wanting to step up. Ashley, thank you for that. Well, tonight